Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Dev, and welcome back to another tutorial. So, as you can see, this is like a different sort of level, because I've changed level uh, <coughs> over here, so open level, I've got the tutorial map, I've saved the, the tutorial map, that, that was the other level. Do you know, remember the other tutorial with the um, true FPS camera and stuff, or the first person camera, whatever, yeah, that was on the tutorial map. Um... But I can save this as the tutorial map too. So how to do this is go to File, Save As. Um, you can create like a new um, folder or whatever called Maps or whatever, and then just go down to here, Name. <coughs> I'm gonna call this um, Tutorial Map Two. There we go. Now saving. There we go. It's saved. So Tutorial Map Two. So basically, this is just a simple level um, that I have like a light in it. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to do the flashlight. Even though I may not be doing like a specific tutorial for like horror games or whatever, this is like for sort of like any game. But I'm pointing it sort of at horror games. I know that I don't have it in the tw uh, title yet, but I'm probably gonna change it as horror games. I don't know. But what you're gonna have to do to um get a flashlight is you're gonna have to um go into third person character down here and then it comes up with all of this stuff yeah we know um go into viewport and now as you can see we, we have our first person character here although we we have our third person character with the first person uh camera here so now what you need to do is go to add component um type in spotlight yeah, it comes up with that. And then just rename it as F F L Ash Light. There we go. Now, first things first, if you want it to follow you, or if you want it to follow the camera, so wherever you look, like wherever the camera looks, wherever you look with the mouse, with the mouse, wherever you look, the flashlight will follow. Then just um, drag it over the follow camera so it goes under it as you can see it it basically does whatever it does it's really really hard to explain but let's just drag it up here um, let's drag it out a little bit uh, I'll say about there because if you if you put it um, uh, let's just uh, hold on a minute uh, let's just lower this Basically, if um, the the light is like right inside the character's head, then it will ref it will reflect his head, and you won't be able to see anything. So if you just put it uh, just like in front of him, then you'll be able to see the actual world. And now you can just like see all of these like um, details settings down here and stuff like that. Yep, you don't need to worry about that. So now what we need to do is go to event graph. Oh, one more thing. Go to the tutorial, uh, tutorial map. Go to settings. Go to project settings. And then scroll down until you see input. And then go go to where it says action mappings. And then um, click the arrow here. And you, you, you see where it says jump, space bar, or gamepad face, whatever. And then j j click the add symbol here. It adds another sort of mapping. It adds basically another action thing. Type in fla. I can't spell flashlight. Now, whatever, um, whatever like key or um, if you want to do mouse click for flashlight, I don't know why you would. But if you want to use like the F key. Or like the P key. Let's just say F key. If we're gonna use the F key to turn on and off the flashlight, then go down here, click uh, click on the drop down arrow, uh, click on um, keyboard, and then scroll down until you see the F key right here. And as you can see, the F key is done. So now just come out, go into third person character. Now what you need to do now is right click, and then type in. Flash light. There we go. Basically, the input action flashlight is 
is basically taking the information from the uh, project settings, the input, and if you if you do the input action flashlight, uh, which is the F key, then it will turn on the flashlight. So to do that, you need to do this: press, um, drag it out, and then do um, do toggle. Wait, no, wait, hold a minute. First of all, we need to actually drag out the um, um, flashlight variable, I, I think. I oh, know, wait, wait, we need to take this out. Yeah, we need to take this out, and then, um, and then, but basically what I did was, I went over to the components over here, and you see flashlight right there, just drag it out here, and then it, it comes out like that. Now, you see this? Um, you, you see this thing right here, this blue thing right here, just drag that out, and then type in toggle visibility. There we go. And now what you need to do is just join these, um, these symbols up together. And now if you want, uh, basically that will, that will make the, um, flashlight disappear. Now if you want it to reappear or disappear or whatever like that then just then just do this um click on that um hold down control click on this as well and do control w yes yeah, it control w and then and then just do this release drag it down here and that's basically all you need to do and now just so that it works uh, you need to do compile, and then click save. It, uh, if it says tick, if the compile is ticked, then that means everything is correct. But if it has like a a, a red dash or something like that, yeah, that means you need to fix some stuff. J j just copy what I've done right here. Hoping that you've done like, make sure that you pause the video. And now we need to go back to the tutorial map, play. Okay, right, you know what, um, wait, wait, what? What? I thought the first person camera was supposed to be here. What? Okay, right. Hold on a minute, everybody. Okay, guys, <clears throat> so I had to change the map a little bit because for some odd reason, uh, for some odd reason, um, the, um, the player start would not work with what I was trying to do, so uh, I guess we we're gonna have to stay on this level f for longer. But basically, this is uh, I basically jumped over from this place just over to this place to show you what I've done. So play. So we have our light. If we press F. Anyway, although if we hold down F, it goes off. If we release it. It comes back on to so prevent that and so to prevent that from happening basically we have to go to here and then we have to go to, we have to just take these over <clears throat> and what we need to do is go to uh let's just say go to uh, hold a minute just basically move this over here right click type in flip Flop. What what flip flop does is basically once you, if you press a certain uh, key, for example P, <coughs> then something will happen. If you press it again, something else will happen. So it alternates between A and B output stun with A. So if you press F and and it got, let me just demonstrate to you. So right now this is a little trick that I learnt. If you hold down Control and then Hold and then drag this over to here. See? Now, if you drag this one over to here, what this basically does is, what well, if F is pressed, then it will make the flashlight go off or on. But if you press it again, 
then it, it will go off or on again. So let's just um, let's just control drag this over to here. So yeah, if if it if it if it's off like at the beginning, then basically if you press F and the flashlight is off, then it will turn it on. If you press F again and the flashlight is on, then it will turn it off. It's very very confusing, but let's just try it now. So play. So you can see the flashlight is on. Press F. See? It now goes off and on. But if you want the flashlight to be off like when the game begins, then I think this is how to do it. But go, uh, then, uh, type in event. Um, hold on a minute. Let me just try and find it. So, um, aha, event on become view target. There we go. Now, now, click, control, click, control W, take this up here, and then drag and put this up here, and now pr play. As you can see, it's off. F, 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 F. There we go. That is how you do the flashlight, everybody. That is how you do the flashlight. Yeah, no, I also added a point light as well, so, yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's just save that, and let's just save that as well. So now you know how to do a flashlight, everybody. Uh, in the next tutorial, I think we're going to be able to do the uh, running um, feature thing. But, yeah, for now, um, hope you all enjoyed, and hope this helped, and, uh, yeah, see you all later.